is Megan speaking right now or complaining or betraying her husband or whatever else the media is telling us? Or is it the media that's making us feel like she's speaking and complaining and betraying her husband and everything else that we're seeing? Hi everyone, welcome to Truth Prevails. Today I'm going to kind of go over um, an article that came out um, on Meghan Markle. And um, the article basically talks about Meghan Markle raising gentle concerns about Prince Harry's um, decision to release Spare and how she was worried if that was the right move. Um, I'm bringing this up because... um, for me, when Spare came out, that was like the slate wiped clean and we're like starting over. That's how I felt in my mind. Like, let's see what the media would do now and let's see what the royal family would do now. And it turns out that the media isn't going to stop. And so what's important is actually what people said after they saw this, people on social media. Okay, so somebody here is saying that after pushing Harry to spill his guts, Meghan Markle quietly waited to see how things played out. Now that the verdict is in and Harry has become a global laughingstock, she's distancing him, herself from him. Harry is being markled. So this person believes that this is something that Meghan Markle has just said now, recently. Um, because of, uh, you know, many people just read headlines anyways. They don't go into the story to see that this, they're, they're seeing that this is something from before. And so now it looks like she's complaining and this is a new thing and she's talking and she's, you know, basically trying to jump off a, uh, a, a, a sinking ship. Here's somebody else who says that she's busy planting stories in an attempt to distance herself from her beloved husband. Again, same thing. They believe that now she's speaking now and now she's not just against the royal family, but she's against her husband. All of it, not true based off of the information that we have from Spare. Um, She wouldn't be talking to uh, the tabloids. That's just not something that she's going to be doing considering the fact that they ruined her life, basically. Um, I don't think any of her friends are going to be doing this either. Which brings us to only one other option. Their source is someone from the royal institution. And then really quickly, I'm going to mention that the uh, those tweets were real, but the names of the tweeters and the avatars are not, because just, just a way to prevent people from harassing anybody or bullying anybody. But those tweets are actually real, just that the names of the people are not. So here's an alternative um, to, you know, on what could have happened, how the leak could have happened since we know that they're just sources. They heard from sources. Uh, Meghan Markle didn't talk to the media. So it could have been that Prince Harry, during the funeral, told his family that he was writing a book and the book would be um, re- be released soon. And maybe someone in the institution asked, you know, was Meghan involved? Did Meghan put you up to this? And his response could have sounded something like this. You know, no, it was my decision uh, she initially um, thought that it could ruffle some feathers, and so, but she's supporting me anyways. So I believe that this could be the reason why we have the leak that we have. Yeah, I believe that it's pre- it's possible that someone um, on the royal family side, you know, who got this information decided to leak it since. The media is, you know, basically asking, where is Megan? Why is she, why isn't she with him and stuff like that, that they decided to leak a private conversation once again. And so this is just a reminder that Megan Markle isn't always speaking. It's just that when the media presents this information to people, a lot of people assume that she's actually speaking right now and she's talking. So they keep saying, shut up, Megan. We don't want to hear from you, but she's not talking. It's the media and they're divulging intimate conversations that someone has chosen to basically uh, provide to them Um, for everything to go back to normal well I don't know what normal is but a place of peace I think that the royal family and the royal institution and the royal aides they all need to stop leaking information and just leave this couple alone that's what I believe